What's up guys, Xavier Elon here. I do uh, Hacker Rank and LeetCode tutorials, so check out my channel if you haven't already and hit that subscribe button. Um, sorry for, I've been gone for like a week. I got coronavirus, I was really sick. I still am sick, but I'm just trying to do stuff. So today I'm doing sparse arrays on Hacker Rank. Um, it reads, there's a collection of input strings and a collection of query strings. For each query strings determine how many times it occurs in the list of input strings. So they give us input strings and we have to um, basically put it into a map how many times each of them occurs. And then for queries, we check to s see how many times this query occurs in the strings uh, array. And we store that result into an array and return that array, basically. So I already gave it away. We have to use a hash map because um, they have a a key a value so a b would be the value and then the um, value the number of times it occurs so it'd be two so as you can see here a b occurs twice so two a b c occurs once and b c occurs zero times so let's code that out right now so here's our array result and it's going to be queries.length long. So that's what we're storing in the new array. And let's write our hash map. Oops. And then we just have to first, we have to loop through strings and store them in the hash map with the correct values. So for string, string, and strings. So we're gonna do, we're gonna put it into the map, map dot put, and we're gonna put the string, and then we're gonna do map dot get or default. So I'll explain this. So get or default is saying, get the value for, for this key. Um, and if there is no value, set it to the default, which is zero. But we want to increase it by one because we're um, adding it each time it occurs. So that's the reason for the plus one. And that's that. We have the map all set up. And now we just need to loop through the queries. And um, so we're going to set our results index equal to map.get. So we're gonna use the same function, um, get or default, and it's going to be queries i, because we're looping through queries. And this time it's just gonna be zero. Um, we're not changing the value. And that should be it. And we just return our result. So it's pretty simple. Taking a while. What did I do wrong? Oh. <laughs> oh why is it taking so long? All right, sweet, it worked. I don't know why it took so long because it's just an O of N runtime. Um, an O of N space complexity because we just had to create a new map. But thanks for watching, guys. Hit that like button if you actually like this video. It helps with the YouTube algorithm. I'll see you in the next video.